The AC-130 is a warplane whose heritage began not with a fighter or bomber, but with the design request for a cargo plane. The C-130 Hercules, combining this once gentle giant with the tactics and technologies on previous fixed-wing gunships, helped to create a formidable aircraft combatant. This is an excellent candidate for the world's deadliest aircraft. Close air support of highly maneuverable special operations forces and disruption of enemy convoys and other ground maneuvers remain the primary responsibilities of the AC-130 gunship. The AC-130 made its debut above the skies of Southeast Asia. It was first deployed to protect the strategic hamlets of friendly forces in Vietnam. Then, as the war progressed, the role of the gunship expanded to include interdiction, resulting in more than 10,000 enemy trucks destroyed. When I was there, it was uh, interdiction of uh, the supply lines coming out of North Vietnam, uh, the trucks and the supply points along there, and that was our main mission when I was there. Building on the success of the past, today's gunships have greater firepower, more advanced avionics, and more sophisticated sensors. But the heart and soul of the AC-130 remains the crew. Without all 13 crew members working in concert, uh, we wouldn't be able to do what we do, and that's provide uh, precision close air support and armed reconnaissance. You probably have some of the greatest American heroes right here doing this mission. Increasingly, modern military conflicts require increased deployment of special operations forces. These brave soldiers are often engaged in combat situations where air support plays a crucial role. One can only imagine how fulfilling it is to, to have a ground team contact you on the radio and tell you they've been taking rounds for the last 12 hours. And as soon as they heard the props of the gunship, the, the firing stopped. The AC-130 is outfitted with a highly complex array of avionics, hydraulics, sensors, and armament. And it takes a team of skilled technicians supporting each aircraft to complete a mission's objective. I like to tell the technicians, and I tell them this all the time, that they put the air in air power. The pylon turn is an amazing piece of physics. Right altitude, right out airspeed, right angle of bank, no wind. Every time you shoot, it hits the same spot. AC-130s have served in military operations in Grenada, Panama, Desert Storm, Somalia, Afghanistan, and Iraq. always in demand. We don't have enough of them. We, we should have more. And I think because we're tilting more to special operations forces, we'll probably see a, uh, an increase in the number of AC-130s. Armed with a 40 millimeter and a massive 105 millimeter cannon, and able to conduct night missions locating and destroying enemy targets, the AC-130 is without question one of the world's deadliest aircraft.